Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Wildberry Island where as you can see our beaches are being invaded by pirates and penguins. <laughs> Look at how freaking cute this is you guys. I love this so much. I accidentally put on the penguin outfit while helping some of the penguins out of the water and onto the beaches of Wildberry and it looks so cute. I'm actually going to keep it as one of our winter festive outfits and look who showed up. It's Gulliver and I have already gone ahead and I have managed to snag the communicator that he actually needed. Uh, it was hiding in the water and I only ended up with one oyster in my pockets other than you know all the other things that I wanted in my pockets instead uh, and I popped over to the island with Cap'n today and it was a potato island which I am totally going to be taking as a sign that I should make some more sweet potato nochi. I actually did make sweet potato nochi in real life and I uh, made the recipe on camera for one of our vlogmas vlogs if, like a while back about a week back. So if you guys want to see, I'm behind on Vlogmas as of this moment, but if you want to see some of the other Vlogmas in real life vlogs where I've been doing some real life cooking as well as wild berry cooking, then definitely check that out because the sweet potato nochi is one of my new favorite things to eat. And I totally came up with that idea because of all of the wonders of wild berry. And speaking of fun things to eat, we did learn the recipe yesterday from a Gladys of all people for the coconut cookies and now I really want to make some vegan coconut cookies that might be happening at some point soon. Just saying. Just saying. And then also we have a new, hopefully new, recipe in this bottle from the farming island that we went to that was full of potatoes. I also got the gyroid fragment of the day, the gold nugget. Let's see, and a few stones so we can try to make that cool mossy cave, but we'll have to see what we end up doing today. Today, I think we might even head home and we might work on making a really cool snowy area in the basement with the icebergs. And oh, that reminds me, you guys, I built another perfect snowman. I'm so proud. He's over here and he already gave us our perfect snowflake for the day. But that is the second ever perfect snowman that I've ever made. So we're going to search out for the other one because this perfect snowman did teach me a new winter themed DIY for a frozen sculpture. Look at how cool that is. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find um, a couple more snowflakes so we can build that as well. Oh, so much cool stuff going on for Wildberry. Oh, and the money tree is ready. Excellent, excellent. Oh wow, like I've got so much money mostly just from the money trees that I harvested up yesterday too. All right, let me catch this. We're one away from being able to build a giant bear sculpture and putting it into the uh, Christmas market. And then I need to make some more room for my gyroid. So I'm gonna move this little guy. And I'm actually gonna move him, right, the dutoid, so cute. He's gonna go right there. And then let's continue burying more gyroid fragments. And it seems like tomorrow is probably going to be the day that I'm going to need to go ahead and dig all them up which is just fine because tomorrow would be a really fun gyroid excavation day and maybe we can get a cave built the mossy cave finally to celebrate all of the gyroids we're excavating too all right so let's see oh ooh, there it is the last piece we need you guys yes go 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 dang it okay i totally messed that up well that's okay Let's go visit with Diva and we're gonna give her some of the food we've got so I have room to make nochi and I have room to make the coconut cookies today. And we'll see if maybe she happens to be cooking or crafting something. Not at the moment, but she is wearing her archaeology outfit. Cool of you to drop in. Take a load off. My place rocks, right? I know it does. And you're welcome to cheer her chill here anytime you'd like. Why thank you, Diva. Well, gemstone, someone's feeling chatty. All right, Diva. You rock, ha? Huh? I wonder if that's a pun. Oh, and I found this gold nugget while trying to gather stones from the stones on Coppin's Island. Just FYI. We should leave the gold nugget sitting outside with Diva, of course. A flower sweater? Diva, I might exchange this outside at the Christmas market. That would actually be cute. I wanna have a flower sweater as an option for our villagers. All right, and I do think we should leave like a chunk of gold out, maybe next to the dutoid. 
So I'm going to drop it. Okay, I need to walk one closer. And then we'll go ahead. I trust Diva with this. There we go. Looks good. Looks good for her little area. Let's see. Cranston's not home right now. <gasps> There's another snowflake! Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes! We got it! All right, I'm very excited about this. We can go ahead and try building the ice sculpture. And I really want to try to make a perfect snowman today. Normally, I do that by myself because I'm usually, like, yelling at the snowball the entire time. But I'm feeling penguiny, and I'm feeling like that's just what I feel like doing with you guys today. So, there we have it. All right, frozen sculpture, let's put you down. <gasps> yes! Okay! <gasps> it's snowy! It's my friend, the dung beetle, again! Yes! Look at how careful he is at building this up. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Okay, I kind of want to catch him this time. All right, let's do this, guys. Oh, dang it! Dang it! All right. Snowy is just going to be free to wander at the moment. We'll, we'll take care of him, though. I think we're going to exchange this flight jacket for the flower sweater that D.Va has now given us. Oh, that's so perfect for this season! Oh my goodness! I might actually keep that one myself! My villagers are so amazing! They're always giving us gifts that are so perfectly thematic for, like, what we're going for. And since this tree did not grow up into being a festive tree, I'm okay with going ahead and removing it. Sorry, tree. But we we're, might plant more, because I still love the idea of having that cute little Christmas, like, winter market with tiny little Christmas trees down to the south. Wow, this is like the hardest I've ever worked to properly decorate my village. <laughs> and I'm really, really proud about everything we've accomplished. All right, let's put down a gigantic frozen sculpture. <gasps> Look at it! Oh, it's so cool! No, it's not even! Oh, you guys, it's not even. What am I going to do? Where should the giant bear sculpture be if I can't make it even? Curses. Because, yeah, all right. Bear sculpture is going to have to go somewhere else. We will plant another cedar tree over here and just have a cute little cedar tree growing there. And I think I'm actually going to put the bear sculpture like over here for now. And then we might get some special floor lamps or try to get like some special kind of lighting to put around here. And I'm going to move the little tree of bounty maybe down here for now. All right, there we go. Still need to work on making our little train section, but we're coming along really well. I really like this. All right, so let's see. What do we have next? Well, I might need to remove a couple more trees that didn't turn out to be the trees we were looking for. Because we were hoping that these guys would grow up into festive trees, but they did not. And I'm totally okay with removing them and trying to plant new ones if that's the case. We'll give Cranston a present. There we go. We'll see what the nooklings are selling. And if I'm gonna go over there, I might as well go ahead and like move these trees. So I can plant new ones when we come back out. Oh yeah, and I need to see it, like what the recipe that we learned today is. Whoa, Siri, be careful. That's a very sharp pointy axe. All right, let's see. Colorful shovel, please. There we go. I'm hoping the villagers will start visiting around our little uh, like Christmas market more often too. Because so far we haven't had a lot of them stop by. All right, I'm going to grab all of these. These pumpkins we don't actually ever use in cooking, so I like to harvest them up to sell. There we go. Oh, yeah, and then let's try building the snowman really quickly. We're going to move this tree of bounty so I don't mess it up. And then I'm going to need to be very careful to keep these two pieces away from each other until they're ready. But all right, guys, we're gonna see if my snow skills have increased now that we've done such a thorough job of trying so hard to build a beautiful winter market. So we're gonna see if we actually have, okay, a little bit better, a little bit better. Good, good, good. I'm gonna see if my skills 
at making winter festive things have increased enough that we can safely create a snowman. I kind of want to leave the, the snowballs alone to maybe summon back our really cool dung beetle, but... Uh oh, okay, so my pockets are full, huh? What can I drop? Let's go ahead and just drop the moss. Oh yeah, and then let's see what the recipe is. From Toby! <gasps> Mixed fruits pie! Oh, we really need to have a day where we can dedicate ourselves to going ahead and making a stand. Okay, gotta be very careful while moving this around. But dedicate a stand in our little market to just like some delicious, adorable food. All right, go Siri, go. Go Siri, go. We're gonna do it, you guys. We're gonna make another perfect snowman. It's gonna teach us a really cool new DIY. We're gonna add it over here to the little winter festive market. And then as long as there's snow on the ground, we're gonna have like the coolest objects. I have never worked so hard on trying to theme an area before. Unless you count, you know, the way I usually would just leave a gigantic pile of flowers and call like it a done day. All right, this is about as big as I think this guy can go, which means, please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Get away from the tree. Get away from the tree. Tree is danger. Everything is danger. You're just a small little snowball. There we go. All right. Stay away from the other side until we're ready. Cranston! Oh, my boy. We're gonna see. Cranston, watch out. I don't wanna, like, Cranston, please. Oh, oh, jeez. I was really worried he was gonna, like, make it so that we messed up our snowman. And I was really worried for a second there. All right, I think this is about right. Hang on. It's hard to do the ear test right here. I think it needs to be a little bigger. Just a little bigger. Maybe. I could be wrong about that. Okay, turn around. Don't, please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. And? Oh no! <laughs> Okay, got close. The body needed to be bigger, I think. Well, all right. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Oh, writing a cookbook! You guys, we learned 50 recipes. We're a homestyle chef now. I'm so proud. All right, and we also tried to make a snow folk. That was a good effort today. I'm pretty proud of us. Let's go and we will spend some time before we clean up the basement and add a bunch of penguins. Uh, seeing what the Nookling brothers are up to today and selling a bunch of our stuff. Oh, let's put my big, my big... Ah, see, I'm trying to figure out like, now where should we put out the frozen sculpture? Maybe right here? Because he's a two tiler, he kind of threw off my groove. I think we'll put him right here and then we might try to find like a cool light that can point towards him. Um, and then I'm gonna leave some of the tree bounties that have been recolored so they look like adorable little wintry bushes over here. There we go. They're really pretty. I really like them. And then do I have another one in my pockets? Nope, that's the dreamy hanging decoration, which I still don't know what it looks like. All right. Oh, hey, it's Audie! Giver of awesome gifts. How are you doing, Audie? Ah, heavy metal singing. Totally understand. All right, let's go ahead and we'll give her some of the food we've got. How about this carrot cake? And what do you think about that, huh? Oh, a conductor's cap. Okay. Everybody really wants me to get the little train station for the winter festive market up and going, I think. All right. Meanwhile, inside the Nookling Brothers. Oh, and since we've had Gullivar today, I also want to like pull up the like normal Gulliver's gift. <gasps> Is that a little wagon? You guys! <laughs> it's a little covered wagon. Oh my gosh, of course I want it. What? I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe put it over by Cranston's house? All right, let's go ahead and sell. And I think I absolutely have to get that like old style record player. Oh my gosh, is that Tetris? Okay, if that's Tetris, I'm gonna have to go ahead and buy that because my beloved husband Chips loves Tetris and I totally would need to send that to him as a gift. 
So I need to check on that. Let's see. The conductor's cap will sell too. All right, there you go, boys. It's a bunch of potatoes and a bunch of pumpkins. Enjoy. All right, I think we can afford this. Oh, it's solid hair or poker or something like, oh, it's Mahjong. <laughs> Okay, well, I can pass up the Mahjong one because I know that he's seen that and he was kind of like so-so about it. But this adorable little jukebox. I don't think I've had the jukebox, so we're going to go ahead and buy it. There we go. And I might give it to one of the villagers. Meanwhile, I think everything else is pretty good. I am not one to buy soda, so we will totally just ignore that. All right, boys. Thank you very much for your help. Let's go ahead and claim our Nook Miles so that we'll be able to go to Kappa's wonderful islands. Thank you, boys. Excellent. So, so far we have learned a new Frozen DIY, failed to build the snow folk. I did try. And now we're going to try to see, let's see. Let's make some of these coconut cookies before we investigate the houses to go ahead and see who is possibly crafting today's DIY and what- <gasps> Look at that mixed fruit pie! It's so cute! Holy cow! Okay, we've got to make that at some point. Wow, like, I swear, cooking in Animal Crossing has been making me so hungry in real life. I have been doing so many new recipes I've never tried before because the cooking just looks that amazing. All right, let's go ahead and do some coconut cookies. Uh, if I had some like coconut milk, I bet it would make really good coconut cookies. All right. There we go. Oh, they're so cute, you guys. Okay, we'll make a couple more. So that way, if I run into any of the villagers, I will definitely have some snacks for them. Oh my gosh, those look so good. We need to make a cookie stall. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, well, let's head out. And now, let's see. Hey, it's Jay! And he's checking out all the penguins! <laughs> okay, that's so cute. Okay, I really hope he's enjoying all the penguins. I actually really want to get a picture of him so badly. No, picture, picture! Dang it, he moved! He'll come back, I'm confident. All right, handheld. Jay's spending some time with the penguin crew. Looks awesome. That's adorable. Okay, he's definitely touring with the penguins. This is so cool. Looking Bill, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, you're working up a big sweat out there? Hey, don't forget to stay hydrated. Oh my gosh, that's literally what my husband tells me like all the time. All right, Jay, let's go ahead and we're going to give you some cookies. Take this. Whoa, tasty. I was actually craving some coconut cookies. That'll be fuel for at least a thousand more squats. Thanks for looking out for me, hey? All right, and a hat and jacket. Thank you very much. I'm so excited he's only been here for a couple days, but because I visited Katarina once, it seems that we can already give him gifts. All right, what does this look like? <gasps> this is actually a pretty cute one. Oh, I like the pink. I don't think I've seen that before. All right, so now that that is done, is Julian home? Julian is home. We've got to discover who's doing today's DIY. I don't think Gladys was home. Pretty sure she wasn't. All right, Julian's home. Julian, a quick gift before I am uh, running off again. Also, how are you today? When I look back at the choices I've made throughout my life, I have to admit, they were always right. When I was an itty bitty horse, I had this friend who got me hooked on reading novels. And some days I look back and wonder if it was one of those life-defining moments. The point is, even my choice of friends has always been spot on. The point is, those decisions made me who I am today. And let's be honest, the results speak for themselves, Gemstone. Julian, you are a refreshing dose of confidence in yourself sometimes. I have to say, would you like some coconut cookies? Latest recipe that I've learned. You know, and actually cooked. All right, and we've got... <laughs> Julian, this is the fourth or fifth time you've given me this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. The photo is supposed to be one of the rarest items you can get. Julian is both so confident in himself and so happy here on Wildberry that this is, I think, the fourth or fifth time he has given me his photo. That is hilarious. Also, how you doing, Sky? Of course, I'm never too busy to check in with you. Also, do you guys like the little broom brush gyroid that I gave her? 
All right, let's go ahead and give her some carrot cake. That gyro just seems to fit her so well. It really likes tidying things up. It's so cute. A striped shirt. Thank you, Sky. Oh, we've got to decorate the gyroids all over the village and just let everybody have some. Also, I don't think this perfect snowman has long for this world, unfortunately. All right, there we go. We're just gonna cover that up and... Large snowflake. Excellent, excellent, thank you. All right, Sheldon, not home. Octavian, home. And Octavian has the bendy gyroid. I forget about that. And then every time I see him, he makes me laugh so hard. We've picked some really good gyroids for our villagers. Yes, we found the DNA DIY. Once I start something, I gotta keep going till it's done. Guess I'm getting more stubborn with age. What you doing? Festive top set. It's tough, but I got ages of patience. Reckon you could, uh, reckon you need that to be into DIYs. Aliens! Wanna try making the festive top set I came up with? Oh, thank you so much! Yay! Alright, thank you, Octavian. And if you guys see on his table, he actually has the minstroni soup that we have given him and the to-do list that he bought off of me. I was going to show you guys the to-do list and I wonder if I can actually give them... <gasps> if we get too many photos from Julian, what I'm gonna start doing is giving Julian's photo to all the other villagers on our island. That seems like such a Julian thing to do, doesn't it? Uh, but here's the festive top set. Yes! It's another new DIY! Oh, I love how the villagers are getting into the, the season. They don't have to teach me how to make like relevant things. Oh, I thought it was like a physical top, but it's actually a bunch of dreidels. That's so cool. Thank you, Octavian. All right, let's go ahead and give him a gift too. All right, more coconut cookies. And now that we have discovered who is having the daily DIY, and we got a layered polo shirt out of the deal, Let's go ahead and we'll craft up this new festive DIY and add it over somewhere. You know, maybe it would be a good idea to have an area somewhere around like over here or maybe an area kind of like over here that was sort of turned into a bit of a game zone where maybe the villagers could play. I'm trying to think, I wish I had the sled. I'm pretty sure I've never had the sled on my person before. Oh, is anything really useful for sale today? Not particularly. Oh yeah, the me bathtub with the yuzu fruit. Oh my gosh, I really want to see what that looks like. Oh wait, 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 I needed to check. Have I ever had the sled? I know there is a sled, but I don't know if I've ever actually had it. So it's in my catalog. S, I love how, like I've been in Wildberry for so long. No, I don't think sleeping bag. It would be next to sleeping bag. So I haven't had the shed, the sled yet. But I would really love to be able to get it so that that way we'd be able to go ahead and just have a really good time. Let's craft this. Setting up more places for the Wildberry citizens to play. And now that we have a festive top set, I wonder how I can put that out so they can play. Oh, here, I have an idea. All right, let's go ahead and craft now that I've got a little bit of the wood with me. But what if I crafted this log bench? I probably should have gone with a smaller one, but we're gonna go with this one for now. There we go. And then maybe we can start... You know, start making more places for the Wildberry citizenry to like play and just hang out. Maybe down here? That's the jukebox. Log bench. What would this be like if I like had the log bench here? And the festive top set. Kind of cute, kind of similar to what I've been thinking about. Oh look, Adi's playing the sax. Ah, oh, that's so cute. I love it, I love it, I love it. But yeah, we'll have to give this a little bit of thought, you guys, on like where we're going to put it. Cause instead of put it over in the market, I kind of want to make like another area over here, maybe lit up with some proper tables and some tea where it's like the, or like some like hot chocolate where the villagers could sort of just relax over here, maybe at night and hang out with each other. So we're going to think about that, but let's finish up today by actually taking a peek at my mail. 
Octavian sent us a letter. Listen up, Butterbean. Making easy sounds good, right? Well, it's never that easy. Some folks that look like they might be selling through life might be working real hard behind the scenes. No shortcuts, kiddos. I'm not joking. From Octavian. Octavian, thank you. We have the... Oh, and the Yule Log! Okay, let's grab the Yule Log. The bathtub with the yuzu. We have some new food. <gasps> okay, I hear there is something floating in the skies above us. I need to grab this from Gulliver the Castaway, because that's the thing we were looking for. <gasps> and the winds above Wildberry, finishing off the day with a special treat, perhaps? I've got to give, like, this section down here a little bit of careful thought for, like, how to decorate it. All right, so winds above Wildberry gave us a bathroom sink. Whoa. I... Wow. Okay, I was going to be cheeky and say I didn't need a bathroom sink, but actually, that's a nice sink. I'm glad to have held it so that now it will count as something in my catalog. And meanwhile, now we have these this interesting Yule log, which is actually something you can eat. I'm getting some ideas. I think we should turn this area into maybe like a little cafe and play area. Maybe we'll use the iron? The iron tables? I'll have to give that some thought. And the bathtub with Yuzu, that's so cool. This is so cool! <laughs> okay, this we absolutely have to put somewhere. Maybe we'll make a little mountain hot springs. That could be really fun. Oh, and then finally, the gift from Gulliver for saving him last time. Are you kidding? This is so perfect. This is so perfect. Is this really what Gulliver gave us? Because if so, this is absolutely perfect. Okay, hang on. All right. Guys, Gulliver gave us the South Pole. Just in time to look really good for our winter market. <gasps> that is so funny. Oh my gosh. All right, where is it? There we go. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna get it over here somehow. Guys, this is so cool. <gasps> I love it! I can't believe he gave us the South Pole! All right, we're all, our winter wonderland is coming together faster and faster now. I'm slowly but surely figuring out like how to decorate it, different ways to improve it. I really like it. I'm hoping that it'll last basically as long as the snowy season will too. So hopefully that'll be a nice long time so we can enjoy it for quite a while. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today as we look over the wonders of Wildberry Island. If you guys could, do please leave a like for all of the festivities that are popping up. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.